Hi, Philip here. I'm a technical curriculum developer here at Google. And hi from me, Harish. I'm a lab architect at Google. On this episode, we'll be looking at Google Cloud SDK, a set of tools, including command line tools like G Cloud, BQ, and GSUtil to help manage your resources and applications on Google Cloud Platform. We'll also take you through a quick demo of a self-paced lab where we'll install and initialize Cloud SDK and run commands using G Cloud, one of many tools that come packaged with Cloud SDK and the primary command line interface to Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Console already provides you with a powerful browser-based UI to manage the GCP products and services that drive your cloud apps. With the Cloud SDK, you can manipulate and develop against your cloud resources using command line. It often provides access to more options than the console, but it also makes it possible for you to script your actions as well as log and audit them. You could also use Cloud SDK to access App Engine, Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, BigQuery, and every other GCP product from the command line. And you have the choice to run these tools interactively or through automated scripts. BQ is another tool available in Cloud SDK for BigQuery. You can use BQ to create and get information about resources, list and update resources, load and query data, use external data sources, export data, and use the BigQuery data transfer service. So that's a quick taste of some of the key tools and functionalities offered through Cloud SDK. Looking to install and initialize Cloud SDK on the operating system of your choice? Click this link for info on how to get started. In this lab, you'll learn to install the Cloud SDK, initialize it, and run core gcloud commands from the command line on a virtual machine. The Cloud SDK RPM packages are supported for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and CentOS 7. You can check out the link to start the quick lab here, which will take about 30 minutes to complete. So far in the lab, we have created a VM with the Red Hat image. We then SSH to the VM. We update the Cloud SDK RPM packages. We initialize the SDK authenticating when prompted. We can now list accounts whose credentials are stored on the VM. We can list the properties in our active SDK configuration. We can view information on the active SDK configuration. We can view gcloud command help, as well as specific help for a command. So that brings our episode on Cloud SDK to a close. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to hear how you've applied the tools and functionalities of Cloud SDK, so please leave a comment below. We hope you have been able to apply what you have learned during the series using the $300 free trial credit on GCP. If you haven't signed up for the credit yet, check out this link. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.